Welcome back to the show, Plus Odds, powered by Bet and Short. Follow Bet and Short on all their platforms and do register on their website, www.betandshort.com. And follow on Instagram at Bet and Short INC. And on Twitter, it's at Bet and Short LTD. Now, going straight to what we have for you, cook, uh, we've been cooking for you this week's selections. We have three games lined up for you Leicester against Arsenal. I'm actually scared for Arsenal in this one. Leicester against Arsenal, that's in the English Premier League in the Serie A. We have the cracker between Juventus and AC Milan. Cracker? Yeah, I call it a cracker. Well, mm. for let's me, let's forgive. Not a cracker. Let's that's forgive a AC Milan. Game. But back then it used to be a cracker. Of course. Yeah, so we can still use the word cracker for this guy because anything can happen. But that's in the Serie A. And in the NBA, we have the game between Los Angeles Clippers and the Portland Trail Blazers. And uh, those are the games I will have selected for you uh, for today. But then I'll go straight to um, Expert Aziz. Let's talk about about the game between Leicester and Arsenal? Uh, of course, these are two teams with uh, contra uh, contrasting fortunes uh, mm -hmm. in the Premier League this season. You look at Leicester City and uh, you uh, have a team that are on the ascendancy with regards to their form, with regards to mm -hmm. their quality and the chemistry of play between their players. Uh, the same thing cannot be said of uh, you know, Emery's men. Uh, they have been struggling with both on-field and off-field issues with the old Grand uh, uh, situation, as well as the Mezuzo. They've been frozen out of first-team uh, action. Of course, Arsenal not being able to hold the lead when they are uh, on top of the game. They've mm. not been able to see games out. And, uh, of course, you look at them, you want to believe that uh, against the Leicester City, who are well-grounded, who knows how to play these kind of games, who have been scoring goals for fun this season, and who have uh, a, a stable team as against us now who kept uh, uh, chopping and changing their team. So you look at them playing uh, at the King Power Stadium, the home ground of Leicester City, of course, we want to believe that this is a difficult game for you know, Emery's men. Mm. Leicester City are found form at the right time. They've uh, played uh, 11 games this season. They won seven, lost two, and drawn two. It might interest you to know that the two games they draw was at the start of the season. Uh, I, I think a 0-0 draw at home against the Wolverhampton Wanderers and a 1-1 draw at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. Of course, they lost against the Manchester United. Nobody would blame them for that. Mm -hmm. A 1-0 loss by uh, a penalty from uh, uh, England forward, uh, Michael, Rashford. Michael Rashford. And of course, they went down to Liverpool again. They took a diamond penalty from, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Salah, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken, to condemn them to their second defeat of the season. The same thing I know said of Arsenal, they've, they, they've been woeful uh, in the Premier League, in the, in the Europa League, they took a late intervention from Pepe to secure a 3-2 uh, win just uh, about uh, two weeks ago against exactly. Victoria Gumaris. So you look at this game, you want to tilt towards uh, uh, Leicester City in this game. Prior to last year, Les uh, Arsenal uh, obviously have the upper edge in this game. They've won five of the previous seven games before last year, but uh, in 2018, uh, Leicester City were actually victorious in that game. They won three goals to nothing against Arsenal, mm. and just last year they won three goals to one against uh, the Emirates men. And in fact, you look at Arsenal, anytime they are playing against uh, this current Leicester City side, they believe that uh, they have their work cut out. So, and that is why we believe that uh, Arsenal, with Mezzi Tose back in the team, and with Una Emery likely to go with uh, Pierre Emery Kabameyang, the new Arsenal captain, as well as uh, uh, Alexandra Lacazette, Lacazette. We, we want to believe that they should be good enough to get a goal in this game. Mm -hmm. And Leicester City are obviously scoring goals for fun, and with the game being played at the King Power Stadium, we expect Leicester City to at least win either of those halves. Mm. Now, before we go to um, the expert um, selections that uh, we've picked for this one, I would like to take on um, Perry. Now, we know that Una Emery is under pressure at Arsenal and um, he needs to win this game. But do you think he'll be fired if he loses this game against Leicester City? I'm not sure what the management uh, decision will be after mm. this game, but what I'm sure is that Leicester will not take it lightly with Arsenal mm. in this game. And the, the funny thing I've been hearing, the rumors I've been hearing uh, uh, on the social media is a lot of Arsenal fans considering uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph Mourinho to coach. <laughs> it's going to be very nice to see Mourinho coach exactly. Arsenal, but then if you look at it very well, Arsenal fans, are not, they are not, they are, they are enemy with Joseph Mourinho when he was coaching uh, Chelsea back then. Chelsea. So I don't know why they now see Mourinho as a savior mm. now for them. But after this match, I'm not sure what the management decision will be. But then, let's, let's hope it mm. goes away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're keeping our fingers crossed on that one that for Arsenal and for the rumors concerning Jose Mourinho. Most of the Arsenal fans are not even bothered any longer. They said they are done playing. They don't even want to play beautiful football. They just want results. And for you to achieve results, there's one man you can actually run to, and that's uh, Jose Mourinho. But will he be ready to take on Arsenal uh, to coach them? Will he be ready to chase a lot of uh, unwilling players away from the club? <laughs> that would be a lot of work for Jose Mourinho to do. But let's go straight to the, the selections from the experts uh, for the game between 
between Leicester and Arsenal. For the home team to win either half goes at 1.55, means that Leicester City will get to win either half in that one. And both teams to score, and lately we know that Arsenal have not been able to keep a clean sheet. We also saw this happen in the Europa League just yesterday. Now, so for both teams to score goes at 1.47 odds, and these are likely game markets that can surely happen in that game between um, Leicester City and Arsenal. Well,